Hi, I'm Mark, this is Zach, and this is Owen, and welcome to Everyone Can Grill. Today we're going to show you how to make a simple as heck appetizer using frozen meatballs. You throw it on a grill, play with it a little bit, show off to your friends, but I'm telling you, you'll never think twice about getting frozen meatballs again. So stick around, because this is going to be good. Okay everyone, welcome to Northeastern Ohio, middle of December. And we got a thunderstorm going on, or the beginning of December, and we got a thunderstorm going on. So I had to move in a little bit so we don't get stormed on. But I wanted to get these going. And what we're doing is we're just taking frozen meatballs and slapping them on the grill right now. And we're going to heat these up. How about that? Thunder in December. That sounds like it should be a boxing match. It's a good thing you got this garage door open so that we don't see. Yeah. Suck. Yeah, I'm underneath the in the garage, but the garage door is wide open to keep airflow, and I got a big enough height in the garage so I'm not going to burn the house down. I'm using a 26-inch grill because I got a whole bunch of ribs we're going to put on, and I need the room. But let's get these bar these meatballs heating up, and the rain's here. And then I'll get you uh, start showing. And then we'll uh, start the barbecue sauce. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Like I said, Northeast Ohio, in the middle of a hailstorm on December 1st. I always say, if you don't like the weather, stick around. In five minutes, it'll be worse. All right, let's get this base going for our sauce. First thing we're gonna use is a whole can of manlet. Well, I'm going to open that. And literally, we have a quarter inch of hail on the ground. All right, we're going to dump this in. And this will give it a sweet flavor, and everybody will be like, what is that? The next thing is sweet baby rays. We're not using the whole bottle, but we're going to definitely give it a good shot. Wow. We're thundering and hailing at the same time. This is awesome. And now, just to thin it out a tad, a little bit of bourbon. And I'm going to give this a stir. And that's all there is to it. In about five minutes, We'll put this on the grill, or put this on those uh, meatballs, and we'll be good to go. Look at this. That was literally three minutes from when we were started. Lightning, hail, rain, the whole shooting match, all at once. All right, we're pretty much done with the storm. I got them on, I just put the meat on, and I'm gonna use a little bit of just regular Dry rub. Give them a nice healthy shot. This will kick up the flavor just a little bit in those. And now I'm going to do these while we're here. All right, I'll bring it back here in a few minutes when we start basting them. And trust me, you'll want to see that. All right, let me open this up and show you what we got. Remember, these are already all the way cooked. They've been on for about 10 minutes now. It's time to put some sauce on them. And we're gonna make them nice and sticky. It'll almost be easier for me to dunk them, but I just don't wanna make the mess. Now remember, if you guys are out of tailgate or something like that, this is the way to go. Now I'm going to flip these over right now. I'm not even going to give them a chance to settle in because it doesn't matter. So we will go double time here. All right, so I got them flipped. Let's put some sauce on them. And 
the last one. Okay, you can smell that bourbon in there. While we're at it, I'm gonna add a little bit of wood chips to it. And you see today I got the um, grill grates up normally instead of flipped over like I usually do. And that's because I thought I was gonna need, well, it's not that I thought, I am gonna need all the grate I can for all those ribs. So sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And again, I don't soak my wood chips. You can see them firing up, but watch this. Now they're smoking. Snuff them out. Give them a couple minutes and they'll be good to go. Our temperature will come up to about 350 and we'll be cooking. So I'll bring you back when they're done because that's the last thing we got to do. Here's the smoke. All right, you guys ready for this? Sticky meatballs. We're gonna pull these off and I'm gonna let them sit for about a half a minute to cool off because right now they would burn the roof of your mouth off. So it's always best to let them sit, but I'm not kidding. You got a bunch of friends sitting around these aren't gonna last four seconds. First person that tries them is gonna let everybody else know and you're not gonna end up getting one if you take too long to get them off the grill. So let me pull the rest of these off and then we'll do a taste test. All right, everybody, look at that. Frozen meatballs. I mean, no kidding. A little bit of peach wood, some barbecue sauce, some manwich, a little bit of bourbon that you're gonna have at the tailgate anyhow, let's face it. Let's give this a bite. Yeah. There's no way that this is gonna last any more than five minutes with a bunch of guys standing around watching football. You need to make these. I'm not kidding, they're very good. I am Mark, this is Everyone Can Grill. Do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Tell all your friends about me. The more we get, the better we'll be making these videos. So let's get off your butts, fire up your grills, and see if you can do better.